Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some powerful psychology secrets, not for manipulation or games, but for building genuine attraction and connection. If you've ever wondered how to create a deep, authentic bond with someone special, you're in the right place. We'll be covering how emotional intelligence, listening skills, and understanding human behavior can help you create meaningful relationships based on respect and trust. Let's get into it. Part 1. The Power of Emotional Intelligence First off, let's talk about emotional intelligence, or EQ. Emotional intelligence is your ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. In relationships, emotional intelligence helps you connect on a deeper level. When you're aware of your partner's feelings and emotions, you're better equipped to respond with empathy and care. For example, when someone feels understood, they're naturally drawn to the person who makes them feel seen and heard. So, instead of focusing on what you can get out of the relationship, focus on genuinely understanding the other person's needs, feelings, and desires. This creates a strong foundation for trust and connection. Part 2. Active listening. The key to connection. Next up, active listening. We often underestimate the power of simply listening. Most people listen to respond, not to understand. But if you can master the art of listening with full attention, you'll set yourself apart. Here's how it works. When someone is speaking, make sure you're not just waiting for your turn to talk. Instead, focus entirely on what they're saying. Nod to show you're engaged, maintain eye contact, and even paraphrase or ask questions about what they're sharing. For instance, if she's talking about a challenging day, you could say something like, it sounds like that was really frustrating for you. How did you handle it? This shows you care and are invested in her experience. When people feel truly listened to, it creates a deeper bond. Part 3. Building trust through vulnerability. Let's move on to something that often gets overlooked in modern dating, vulnerability. People often think that being vulnerable makes them weak or less attractive, but in reality, it's quite the opposite. Being vulnerable shows that you're comfortable with who you are and that you trust the other person enough to share your real thoughts and feelings. It doesn't mean you have to spill your deepest secrets right away, but sharing things like your passions, goals, or even what scares you allows for a deeper emotional connection. When someone feels like they're getting to know the real you, it builds trust, which is essential for a lasting relationship. So, don't be afraid to open up, it can be a powerful way to create closeness. Part 4. Understanding Nonverbal Cues Communication isn't just about words, nonverbal cues play a massive role in how we connect with others. Research shows that around 70-93% of all communication is nonverbal. That means body language, facial expressions, and even your tone of voice matter more than you might think. For example, maintaining comfortable eye contact can show that you're genuinely interested in the person you're speaking with, while standing or sitting in an open posture communicates that you're approachable and confident. Smiling and mirroring her body language subtly can also help build rapport and make her feel more at ease around you. Pay attention to her nonverbal cues as well. If she's leaning in, smiling, or touching her hair, these could be signs that she's feeling comfortable and attracted to you. Conclusion. Attraction built on authenticity, in the end. Attraction that lasts isn't built on tricks or manipulation, it's built on authenticity. By understanding emotional intelligence, mastering active listening, being open to vulnerability, and paying attention to nonverbal communication, you can build deeper, more meaningful connections with the people you meet. These skills go beyond just romantic relationships, they're useful in friendships, family dynamics, and even at work. Remember, relationships are about two people connecting on equal terms. So, focus on being your best self and understanding the other person's needs, and you'll naturally attract the kind of deep connection you're looking for. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on psychology and human behavior. Until next time, take care.